Australia's wide open spaces makes for a sustainable, natural, stress-free grazing environment for the nation's herd. But this country of ours can throw up plenty of challenges. Immortalised in verse, our land is one of sweeping plains, drought and flooding rains. Through ingenuity, adaptability, belief and hard work comes a yarn that we can all be proud of. The story of a breed created right here in Australia, perfectly suited for Australia's many environments. You could say Australia's natural wonder. Drought Master. We're incredibly proud that we are direct descendants of the man Monty Atkinson that had the forethought to start uh, this wonderful breed. Monty Atkinson, Lewis Fisher, Bob Ray and John Francis are considered the founding fathers of Australia's Drought Master breed. You know, the pioneer that he was to start from where he did and to push through to what droughties are today, I think he would be incredibly proud and humbled. All three of us grew up on Valley of Lagoons, which was, you know, just a childhood dream to grow up there. After we left, we all further, went sort of further south and they, droughties, you know, just were a natural progression for us to, and work in all those different sorts of country. Probably their ability to be able to travel. Originally um, from the northern country um, to handle probably, I think ticks were the big thing that they, they helped out with, ticks and parasites, um, heat tolerance, and their mothering ability, being able to raise a calf and get back in calf even in the tough years. We, we can control a lot of things, but we can't control the environment. Uh, and, and I think that's one thing that I've always had in the back of my mind. And, I just love the flexibility of the cattle. It, to me, you need an animal and you need to be producing something that, that can fit into a number of markets. You know, the practical cattle, the cows are practical cows, you know, they're clean coated, um, uh, moderate frame, you know, good milkers. Good mothers. Good mothers. Uh, and when you've got uh, family and Sasha works in the yards and uh, children on the place, you know, they. The days of having wild cattle are gone, gone. no one wants them. Um, they've they got a good temperament, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, Drought Master is a breed, I mean, I've had a lot to do with before I came to Nudgee, and they tick a lot of the boxes that we require with Cattle Club. I mean, obviously, temperament is our, our, our highest requirement, um, and they will and truly tick that box. So, once the... And, They've been around these boys for a while. They're essentially bomb-proof. Noises don't worry them. Kids underneath them don't worry about them. The females are probably the thing that are most valuable to us, I think. It's just the crossbreeding and, oh, I think they meet every market. Um, that's probably the beauty of them. They're, you, can, you can sell them off as a veal or you can take them right through to Jabbox. You know, like, there's, there's just so many markets for them. And, um, and they, they will cover from, from a calf right through to a, to a bullock. So it's, it's, yeah, the option's endless. The Drought Master is beautifully adapted for most of Australia's uh, beef growing regions. So best beef cattle grazing country and Drought Masters suit that ideally. When you're MSA grading, you measure the hump height. Uh, as you look across these cattle here, you can see there's very little hump on those cattle. So they're tropically adapted for the uh, environment, but they don't have the hump height, which the experts tell us is related to eating quality. So you get a great eating quality animal and they respond very well on a feedlot ration. We say we have two consumer brands. One is Nolan's Private Selection, and that's product that's lifetime traceable. So, you know, from that piece of meat in the box, you can uh, go backwards down the chain to the place of birth of that animal, so it's fully traceable. All private selection is MSA graded, so we can uh, understand the eating quality, which is important for the consumer. I love the cattle myself, beautiful meat. If we're delivering a quality product, I know people are going to come back. Drought Master Rump, rib fillet and AP rib, beautiful. For more than 60 years, 
Droughtmaster beef has been enjoyed across Australia and to the many export markets around the world. Here at home, it's a popular choice for pubs and clubs. You're likely to have already tucked into a droughty at your favourite local. And the future? I, I think it looks really good, the future for droughties. There's so many ways they can go. Yeah, I think it's incredibly exciting where the drought master's moving. It's, um, it's incredible to see the quality lifting year in, year out, going to the national sale and people's herds just improving. Uh, very exciting times. The, the challenges that we keep getting thrown at us um, from, from the environment and from nature pushes more and more people towards that animal that, you know, that is, a, that is adaptable. Um, so I think it's really positive. I often think to myself, what would I breed if I didn't breed drought masters? To, but to us, they're the whole package. I have often thought the same thing if we weren't breeding droughties. I'd probably still have them, I think, you know, because they, there's, there's so many ways you can go with them. If you, you know, you're pure breeding, you can cross breed and yeah, I think they're wonderful. And I, I love the fact that um, when you go out to see them in the paddock or, where, you know, you're working them in the yards, they're just beautiful animals to be around. They want to be around you and they're, it's just an enjoyment to be with them. I love that part of it. Overall, they're a they're a bloody good breed, so we're very, we're very happy with the Drought Masters. Drought Master cattle are Australia's natural wonder because they were created on Australian shores by Australian cattlemen for Australian markets. And I feel incredibly proud that I was part of the makings of this breed. Australia's Drought Master cattle are perfectly suited to thrive in a world that's changing before us, where versatility and sustainability are essential. Consumer demands are changing rapidly, supply chains want greater yield, and there's a push for improved animal welfare and for sustainable and natural protein. The droughty has got this in spades. An iconic all-rounder, perfectly placed for our changing future, making its mark and affirming its reputation as Australia's natural wonder.